Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told if the function f is defined by f of x is equal to 0 if x is rational and 1 if x is irrational, prove that the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x does not exist. So the way we're going to about do with it, go about doing this is to say, okay, if we have the formal definition of a limit, limit as x approaches a of f of x equals l. This is true if for every epsilon greater than zero that we could pick, there is a delta greater than zero such that if the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. Right, so this basically means for any epsilon that we choose, and in this problem we're gonna choose 0 0.1, there is an associated delta for which this is true, right? So a is the value which x is approaching, so that's zero, so the absolute value of x minus zero is less than delta. The absolute value of x is less than delta, and therefore x is less than delta and greater than negative delta. So we're basically saying, putting in 0 0.1 here, that if we are restricting x to between delta and negative delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is going to be less than 0 0.1, which means that it's going to be less than 0 0.1 and greater than negative 0 0.1, right? Adding l to both sides, we're basically saying the function for whatever we say the limit is going to be equal to, is going to be between l plus 0 0.1 and l minus 0 0.1. So if we are saying that we are within some distance delta of zero, right? right? Because if we're between delta and negative delta, and this is zero, right? this is the range of values um, on the x-axis that we're dealing with. We're saying that the function um, f of x is going to be between l minus 0 0.1 and l plus 0 0.1. And what we know is that it's equal to zero if x is rational equal to 1 if x is irrational. So no matter what l we choose here, we're not going to be able to have values of 0 and 1 that are allowed in this function, right? So the difference between 1 and 0 is 1, right? So if we could imagine, right, the function bouncing between 0 and 1. So we need to say, okay, we need to have a range here that can fit 0 and 1 as valid points for some value of l. But if we take l plus 0 0.1, the largest value, and subtract l minus 0 0.1, we get l plus 0 0.1 minus l distributing plus 0 0.1, this is equal to 0 0.2. The range of the function is only going to be 0 0.2 over this um, range of x values. Therefore, if we include 0, right, we're not going to be able to include 1. We'd only be able to get to up to 0 0.2. If we included 1, we wouldn't be able to get down to 0, right, because the y restriction is going to be too narrow. Therefore, there's no value of delta for epsilon is equal to 0 0.1, such that if the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta, then the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. And therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x does not exist.